what's up guys so uh it's a wednesday thursday i think uh and i am going to uh go up and try to fish this spot all the stuff said i need a high clearance off-road vehicle so i'm uh trying it in the van what do you think i think we'll be all right just crossed the creek came out out the other side there's this high elevation lake up here that i used to fish all the time i know the road washed out i haven't been here for years and i thought it'd be fun to try to get the van up to where uh you park at the trailhead so see how this goes maybe a very short non-video we'll see if i end up having to flip around and come back down uh or not the purpose of going up here is that i want to uh scout it out and see how it's going to be uh, if i want to bring my kid up here if he can make the hike i know it's a real steep hike up there but we'll see what happens so far so good these tires are so bald and just garbagey it would not surprise me at all if we hit a little rock and blew one up but sometimes you just got a sender in the van you know you just got a sender plus if i get tired i got a bed back there you know made it burnt sienna always the champ undefeated still got air in the tires Before we climb, we dine. Well, getting up here a little ways. <clears throat> so far, hike's been steep, but it's not that bad. Looking down on the road right here, and I think maybe I got another three quarters of a mile up here to the lake, but I haven't been here since it's all burned and totally a different looking world. I kind of took a different route, got off the path, and Always in the hope that maybe there's an outlet around. Getting topped out here. Decent hike, probably 45 minutes all together. Maybe an hour. And there's the lake. Man, it looks 100% different since last time I was up here. Just saw a great big brook trout swim under that log jam. I probably spooked it, but like a 14, 15 inch fish. So I'm gonna get around this point and throw spinners. Um, what the heck? I freaking got all the way up here. Went to cast and the, the handle fell off my reel. At some point, I looked all over, it's not right here. I dropped it on the way up somewhere. What the F, you gotta be kidding me. Fish are jumping, they're feeding. I've seen a few big brookies and now I got no way to fish. Interesting. Maybe I'll get lucky that I can see some, like, see those fish jumping right there? Ah, oh, I'll see if I can figure this out. Hate to have to backtrack, wouldn't be worth it. Well, folks, it's been about an hour, and this is what we're working with. I walked around the whole lake trying to find um, a broken reel or something. I found a lot of other trash, but no broken reels. So I whittled this piece down and jammed it in there. It's kind of on a bent stick, so it makes a reel handle. And honestly, it works okay. Like, it's not great, but it works. So I'm going to try fishing with it and see. If we can pull this off, that'd be cool. We'll see. Well, that lasted one cast. So back to the drawing board, got my multi-tool. I'm gonna start taking apart stuff and seeing if I can't find a bolt or something that'll fit through there. I just can't fathom giving up on it. And I bushwhacked halfway up here. So if I thought it was in the trail, I would just hike back. But I think it's probably where I was fighting the brush. So turn this into like sort of a survival thing. Can I catch a fish with a busted reel? Let's find out. Just taunting me. Trying to find some way to get my pole rigged up. Big old fat rookie. All right, folks, this is the last try. There's all the pieces to my trekking pole and this is what I've built. A part of it is a key ring. It's two pieces, two bolts 
out of uh, my trekking poles, one that fits in there, and I think it's gonna work. But this is like the fourth one that I thought was gonna work. So that one's pretty stout and pretty sturdy. We'll give it a shot. The fish have just been taunting me and jumping the whole day. So if this one doesn't work, I'm out of here. Well, folks, the chaos continues. I got a freaking big brookie to eat a tube jig. Came up and smashed it about six feet under me. I'm sitting out on this log jam. <clears throat> and then he wrapped me up in the logs. Last I saw him, he was shaking his head. I think he's off. Buddy, <laughs> like a 16 inch trout. So I hooked into one. That's something good. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna try to do. If I'm gonna try to figure all, sort all this out under me right here, or call it a break off. But at least I got one to eat. <laughs> the joys of it. <laughs> I did it. Look at that freaking big old fat brookie. <laughs> 16 probably inch fish. <laughs> oh my god. I almost gave up. After losing that one. And it was pretty dang much, pretty much a dang rodeo trying to get that one out of there. Big old freaking tank. Man, that feels good to accomplish it. I almost went home. I had my stuff all loaded up. And then I thought, nah, I'm gonna throw on these little jigs and go try them again. And, that's the first fish I really had commit and he got wrapped up in the logs and I pulled him out but oh my gosh if I was up here camping that would have been an eater for sure but since I'm just fishing the fish let him go old girl still here sitting pretty good hike maybe next time I'll catch a few more fish but either way it's never a bad day when you get a hike up and fish a high elevation lake. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope it gave you something to watch for the day. It gave me something to do. And uh, I'm excited to uh, get out and make some more videos for you guys to get this real hunting channel popping. And then also to start the hunts this fall, baby, let's go. I hope you guys are getting ready, drawing your tags and getting prepared because it's coming. It's coming real quick. All right, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I had a good time making it. Just a quick little trip, something to do in the summer. And also, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I'm kind of looking for stuff to do this summer. Going to some total archery challenges and doing the regular that way. But, uh, yeah, just kind of here and there. But I do need to thank some people who bought apparel. Jesse Smith, thank you, Jesse. I appreciate it. Jacob Kromborg, thank you, Jacob. Jesse Sutherland, a couple Jessies today. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Zachary Wetzel, thank you, man. Um, Mark Reg, uh, one of the biggest supporters out there buying a lot of apparel also sent me some cool socal hunt stuff this year so you guys go check out socal hunt mark reg good dudes over that way spencer raven my very own nephew thank you spencer appreciate it and tristan lawrence so thanks to everybody who bought hats we do have hats in stock on the site um a few of the sunset ones and then um i'm gonna tell you guys a secret all right and i'm gonna give it to youtube first which i usually never do i usually post this stuff on instagram first but today I'm gonna let you guys know, I do have the orange FUD hats in stock. Here, I'll post a picture. And um, these things sell incredibly quick. Usually they're gone within, I mean, every time I get them in, they sell. And I think I only have about 10 of them. So if you want one of those, go snag it right now. Get shedcrazy.com. There's a link in the description of this video for all my apparel. Anyway, hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching the video.